Shalom, Shalom, Israel. All praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakha Kadash, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the most high God, and Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And double honors to the apostles and the elders in Great Millstone, who've been ruling well through the Spirit, teaching this word and believing this word to the best of their ability. Lord willing, the most high can continue to put in a spirit to endure. A mighty shalom to the whole for elect scattered four corners of the earth, teaching this word and believing this word to the best of their ability. Lord willing, the most high can continue to put in a spirit to endure. Shalom to the wise and the single sisters that's believers in this word. Lord willing, the most high can continue to put on your spirit to pursue to be a loving and silent and virtuous wife. The Lord willing, the most high mercy on the other brother and sister that's not in the faith. You know, um, this Lord willing is, uh, should be a motivation and an edifying, you know, walk and talk. You know, uh, every day it hits me. Every day it hits me, man. You know, thankful that the Most High was dealing with, you know, the nation of Israel the way he did. You know, uh, the Most High shows that um, wickedness would never go unpunished. Rebelling would never go unpunished. Laziness, you know, uh, that boastful spirit. You know, the Lord is just and he's true in everything, you know, and uh, the lesson is not based on, you know, the image you see on the screen, but it's hard. <laughs> it's hard not to wake up every day and be held accountable, especially if you in this thing and you sure, you know, when we can go back into the history of the Israelites, the number one important thing that happened to them outside of the, the oath, the covenant and the law was that they were in, in uh, Egypt, you know, they were in captivity and the Lord raised up a savior, which is Moses. And he put that spirit on them you know, to do his command, you know? And for the men of the Lord, especially if you had that urge to teach, you studying, you know, we supposed to be, you know, righteously angry. And it's supposed to drive you to serve the Lord even more. Now, for people on the outskirt, they might look at it that we're angry and we're mad, you know, we crazy, but we are, we crazy for you, how about Shimmy, I was shy, you know? So uh, first I wanted to bring out Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse seven, it says, surely oppression make up a wise man mad and a gift destroys the heart. And when we see signs like this, or we can just put on the TV, Put on social media we should get angry for our people to be heard or to be like some of them have to be entertainers some of them might not have a talent so they might have to do something stupid just to make ends meet and when it comes to making sure we make money to make sure we make people live or if we want to entertain, we give it our all, you know? Oppression would make a wise man angry. But what about the wicked? The wicked is thinking about coming up, you know? Hitting that, hitting that lottery or going into the casino. But by the time we get this money, we, we spend it on bullshit. The black Latinos and natives are the biggest consumers, but they're the poorest nation in America. You know, we supposed to be angry. So like y'all, just gotta get 
me see if I can get me another one. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 33 to 34. It says, The fruit of thy land and all thy laborers shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed away. You know, every day we get to see the black Latinos and natives crushed away. You know, the nations is eating you up, you know, mentally and physically and financially, you know, making you go to far fetch just to just to get some money, let alone they not even teaching you. you they giving you all these millions and none of you niggas is preparing for what's to come. This is how, you know, a nigga that's trying to build a foundation in this place, but not trying to build up his spiritual wealth. You know, he don't care about the oppression, you know, and there was this this one eat my lady. She said her biggest flaw of herself is that she uh, strives too hard and it takes too much of, uh, of her time and it overwhelms and it mess up her health. And I'm listening and I start thinking, I'm like, Jake do that, too. You know, they, they strive just to. To hit, you know, to get those six figures and do all those things. And I start thinking, when is Jake going to put that same effort in Yahab Hashem Yahushai? You know? And it takes for us to realize disaster, right? That's why the elect men and women that's taking this serious that isn't it now is because they understand that they've been in 14 captivities. They tired. The more that this kingdom is running, the more... We still are a servant, regardless if all Edomites uh, don't have uh, slaves, but we're still in the system of Edom. You know, the elites are still in power. Yahweh Shai don't have many crowns on his head. It's because the wicked is still ruling. You know, so they oppress us and crush us like we, um, what is it called? Candy Crush, <laughs> you know? And then even what's going on with Diddy, his, uh, I call him his stepson, Justice, Justin, you know? Uh, uh, um, Stevie J. Yo, that bill has to get paid, man. And it don't matter if you a Jake or you a fucking heathen, man. That bill is gonna get paid. But the wise is so the, the wise is so angry at their oppression. They're so angry at their condition is that they're trying to strive for perfection. They're trying to strive to be worthy in the eyes of Yahweh Shai. You know? Because especially without this light, you're gonna look and see no end, no future, you know. But dropping down to verse 65, it says. And among these nations shall thou find no ease, neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. But Yahweh shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. And when you go to limitations, it says, um, actually, let's let's just get it. Limitations five and five. Right? This is limitations chapter five. Verse 5 is 1131. It says, Our next are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. Right? So we're among nations and we have no ease. This is why we have to work. You know? And then if you're not doing a nine to five and you be like, Man, I want more in life, you're going to chase those six figures. You're going to chase seven figures, eight figures, nine figures. Yo, when I first started my job, I was getting flooded, 800, 900. I was able to do that, do that, save. That's why I have bread in my savings. But then soon as the, um, the hours or the pay went down because of my hours and they was flipping me here, flipping me there. So instead of getting nine every week or eight, then it start going to seven. Then it start going to six. Then it go to 597. Then it go back to six. Then it go back to 597. Then it go to seven. And then each time I'm getting a five, it's like, yo, 
I'm in the 900. Then when I get the 900, then out of nowhere, I get like two back to back thousand dollar check, you know? And that right there, it become you, I start becoming a fiend. Like I don't want, if the check is not more than 700, I don't want it, you know? But this is how the society is. You, you, you have no ease, man. You know, and you will feel like you the one of the best employees, <coughs> one of the best employees, and you deserve a raise. But when you turn around, you see Jake going through it even too. It's Jake over here, uh, in my job that supervisor, and you see brothers try to sabotage certain machines. My other brother Yarmayan, you know, niggas will leave the job and leave, have him clean up their mess. When they should be cleaning up their mess, but then, you know, the job always say, clean up your mess after work, but never penalize these people. You got to go into locker rooms and uh, eat them ice's butt naked having conversations, you know? You, you, you got, uh, in order to make it in certain business, you got certain bosses trying to f fondle you, probably saying the word wrong, you know, touching on you. Some women, you know, a boss might promote him. He's like, hey, yo, let me get a... You got some women just to, just so they can make ends meet. On the low, they might lay with their boss. Them secrets is out here, man. And I'm only speaking on it because we have moments in these, uh, in this picture, right? And if, if you take the time and pause the video, you probably can zoom up and, you know, look at these scriptures. But in our same site, you can go into the BBLs, you know... Uh, uh, the daughter of Zion don't feel beautiful enough, you know, because look at how the times change. And now Eve got it in a spirit, in a, in a mind that if they show a little ass, shake a little ass, you know, people are going to love them. And Esau made that seem cool. It's, o it's okay to show uh, more ass instead of covering up. Men like that. Yeah, we like that for that moment. You know? We have no rest. Um this is uh Exodus chapter 23 verse 8 because you know we were saying the good gift destroys the heart. It says, "And thou shalt take no gift, for the gift blindeth the wise and perverteth the words of the righteous." Right? Hey, and even like like what we talk about stimulus checks um like that we was going we was going to get that regardless but when you get a gift just like how when we go to the uh the Maccabees you could be a citizen no harm done to you just don't call yourself a Jew you know we couldn't uh circumcise but you could do everything else just don't circumcise you know some of us will some of us will renege on this on, on this walk just to make ends meet or just to please somebody else you got some brothers in this in this truth that say they in this truth, but they like, you know what? I can make money, especially I'm a leader. Maybe have more jobs. You know what? Let me sign that 501C, knowing that they have to renege on certain things. And they still think that they going against Esau. You know, we're going to go this way. But Esau have these things to get a weak-minded brother. And if you thinking about making money and wealth in order to build, uh, to have more f followers, you know, we need more money and then go to these other places where Israelites is, where no Israelite went. We want to go on TV. Money will help us get those influencers, help promote us. You know, a lot of people are just teaching just for pay. And we have to look at the things around us. Right, and I'm definitely speaking on this. I know the cardboard is covering it, but churches is making 82 billion a year. How, like, what the hell is going on? You know, basically tax exempt. But in the spirit, every man that's really serving the Lord, even the women, you're aiming to get that spiritual mark in Ezekiel 9 and 4. So why will we come out here and be, be false, you know? So let me just read, let me read this verse. 
Um, I'm gonna have to do it. Okay, Samuel 22. Okay, this Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Um, and I'm gonna read verse 14 in the NLT. It's saying the Most High will judge us for everything we do, including every secret thing, whether good or bad. So just know you're going to get judged for whatever you, you, you did in secret or whatever you did in public. You know, that bill is going to get paid. You know, it doesn't matter if you try to hide it, you, you try to cover it up. It's already known, you know, every day. You know, the brothers I labor with, and I bet you it's other men of the Lord. You know, when it's nighttime, we looking up. Even in the day, we looking up. Because the Lord might give us a, a, a sight to see. You know, to praise his name even more. You know, the wise men, even the women, they hate wherever they at. But they love it more when they actually serve in the Lord because they have something to fight. They have something to, to continue to keep moving. If Yahweh wasn't for us, man, a lot of us wouldn't be doing the things that we're doing. You know, I wouldn't be reading and teaching. I wouldn't be talking about Yahweh Bashem and Hoshai. If he wasn't for me, if I was another nation, I would be, man, I would try to get as much money as I can. I would try to live it up. And even in the world, I was trying to live it up, you know, for my own little reasons, <laughs> you know. But when you actually start picking up that sword and wiping the dust off your Bible and really digging in this, you really start hating your life. You know, it's not like me in particular, like I just hate me as a creation. You know, I just hate the sin that we have done and. You know, the things that we have done because, you know, we were ignorant. We didn't know, let alone, um, I hate the thought that, you know, having parents and they didn't have a spirit on them to teach you, you know, but everything happened and uh, happened for a reason. Like the Lord saying, Surah 39, verse 21, every creation has a purpose, you know, and if you don't know your purpose, don't make your own. I want to be a celebrity. I want to be on TV. That's your purpose. But what did the Lord call you first? Your first purpose is, did the Lord make you a man or a woman? Now, the first purpose is to, to be that woman or to be that man. And now you have to know your roles. How the Lord want a man to move. And how he want a woman to move. You know, each day I look at this, you know, the more I want to do better. You know, you want to strive for the truth until death. You want to strive for that reward. I want to strive to actually meet Yahweh Shai. Right? Um, let me just get this. This is Deuteronomy 16 and 19. It says, Thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. Neither take a gift. For a gift doeth blind the eyes of the wise. And pervert the words of the righteous. Right? And there's a lot of people that come in this thing and they take bribes. Or they have respect of persons where they won't rebuke brothers. And now brothers is feeling like it's a hate thing to rebuke. You know, the Lord calls us. If we talk about the, 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 the wicked, we're rebuking. You know, about all their sins and their wickedness. You feel me? Let alone Jake. It's an honor thing because if, if you were Israelite, we put an honor upon you by uh, uh, telling you, teaching you, or exposing the wrong or the wicked that the Lord don't accept. And all you got to do is just clean it up. The Lord has given us a chance to clean it up, to come back, to come back to him because Yahweh Shai's blood, you know, that, 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 that redeems us, you know, why not, why not yield to the power? You know, this is very simple. If you really know Yahweh Shema Shai is the creator, he is the power. We should just yield. <laughs> Ain't no free will. We should just, yo, what do you want me to do? You know, that's why in Proverbs 3 and 5, he tell you, lean not unto your own understanding. That's why we should be doing like uh, Morgan Freeman, leaning on your how about you, you know? Let um, 
I'm going to uh, read this last verse. This is Proverbs 17, 23. A wicked man taketh a gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. You know? And this is in our past. But this follows with us in our present because we are them people. Ain't nothing new under the sun. It has to, it's going to continue to happen until the wicked are destroyed in our nation. You know? And I'm not going to even count uh, Esau wicked as, as, as part of our flock as a false prophet, which he is a false prophet. But for Jake to be out here um, falsely teaching, you know, brothers are going to be held accountable. You know, we need to take this more serious. We need to take it more serious, man. If you really want to get out of here, take it more serious. You saying you really want six figures, you want to be rich. Have you ever put it in your heart that you want to be at peace in the kingdom of heaven? Actually, you're going to be rich in the kingdom of heaven. You know, because he said lay up heavenly riches. We worried about riches here that's temporal. It's, it's just part-time riches. But the Lord is going to give you riches that's everlasting. When this video is over, think and meditate on everlasting. Meditate on everlasting. Lord willing, this is edifying. The more you grow serving Yahweh by Shemir Shai, the more you trust him, the more you believe in him, the more you're going to hate and despise oppression. And the more you're going to be hungry to grow for Yahweh by Shemir Shai, the more you're going to go harder for your family, the more you're going to go harder for the ones that you love. Hate oppression, but meditate on everlasting. And with that, I'm going to say, Shalom, Yahweh.